This is Frank Romano for WhatTheyThink.com. Welcome back to another episode. Recently, someone sent me a book done with a device called the Loom Jet. Loom Jet. So I immediately went to their website and downloaded all their material and discovered that it is a digital device that doesn't use essentially a toner or inkjet. It is a process where the color is built into the material. Now it does require a water line and it, it, it mentions in their data sheet uh, that it removes all waste products that are harmful to the environment and only water goes out. Uh, which would tell me that the material is somewhat like silver halide in that it must contain some kind of material uh, particles like that. In any case, that's besides the point. The real point is that this is the highest quality printing I have ever seen. We're talking about photographic quality here. Now, how do they do that? Well, they do it because it's RGB. They're not limited to the gamut of CMYK. And so as a result, they're getting what we would call photographic quality. And you put that quality into a book like this, a memento, a memory of a particular occasion, like a, a wedding, a wedding anniversary, a bar mitzvah, a bas mitzvah, a confirmation, a communion, um, any kind of an event that people want to remember. This is the kind of thing they really want. This is the photo book they used to have in the past uh, where the photography was mounted and, and, and bound into a book in some way. Now, not only does the technology handle uh, photographs, it also handles vector art. And again, because of the RGB, the gamut is unbelievable um, and handles Pantone colors extremely well. Now, as we look at the evolution of toner-based technology and inkjet-based technology, at least with the inkjet, you're going to see light magenta and light cyan, and that's going to improve the gamut of CMYK on the inkjet side. On the toner side, we've done some things there to improve the gamut. Some of the machines have an additional toner station in them to improve that gamut uh, for printing photography. Um, and in fact, that's really the market out there right now uh, for a lot of these photo books is the, 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 the photographic market. You go to a photographer today, they're printing out with inkjet. You go to a kiosk machine with your SD card, they're printing everything out with, uh, with, with inkjet. I went to get pass passport photos. And again, they take your picture, they put the card into a kiosk machine, and it prints out on special material using inkjet technology. But this is beyond inkjet. This is beyond toner. This is where the material itself has the color built into it, and the quality of it um, is the quality that we would say is photographic in nature. Now, this doesn't mean that our inkjet technology will not catch up will not eventually give us that level of quality, because right now it's a, it is at continuous tone and, and going beyond that. But this technology is here right now, and for certain kinds of products, it is perfect. Now, you're not going to use it to produce a million of anything or, or thousands of anything. You're going to use it to produce small runs of very high-quality material that people will pay a premium for. And that's probably where the money is in this particular regard. Well, the company is Loomjet. The company is in England, and I would suggest you take a look at what they're doing. It's very interesting, and that's my opinion. What happens next? What else are they not predicting that's going to change our lives? Mm -hmm.